All right, here's a mug of <laughs> generic coffee from Walmart. It's a frosty morning here in Narrows, Virginia. This is uh, November the 2nd, 2019. We're getting ready for a road trip. I'll be going by and picking up my friend Scotty and Reed, and we'll be heading down to Charlotte, North Carolina, and hopefully do a little digging at Noble Records and maybe stop by Lunchbox Records if we get a chance. That is, if we don't blow all of our cash at Noble Records. But, um, hey, another adventure, and uh, stay tuned. Cheers. Princeton Towers. We're going to pick up my old buddy Reed here. All right. Just smile. You're on candid camera. Hey, cool, man. How's it going? Hey, doing great, man. Yeah. Let's do a selfie here. Hey, it's my old pal Reed here. He's going to go on the trip with us today. Get me out of the old folks' home. Yeah, <laughs> it's about time. How long have you been in here? What, 27 years now? No. <laughs> ah. I'm working on three. All right. Three? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's get your, uh, get your little walker there. You got a record? That's for you. For me? Oh my gosh. I don't have a record player. Well, you know what? I'll treasure this, man. That's cool, Reed. Thank you. Yeah. So anyway, let's get ready to go. We're going to go pick up Scotty. Okie dokie. All righty. It's all cool, man. Let me check my door real quick. Buddy. There's Scotty. Yeah. Getting ready for another road trip. You better believe it. <laughs> got the sun in your eyes. Yeah, sorry it <laughs> took me so long. That's all right, man. Let me check my door real quick, Lost. All right. Here hey. it is. It's almost 10 o'clock, so we're getting ready to roll on here. Okay. I got a key to the bag. All right. We'll be okay. So, anyway. Let's yeah. do it, man. I'm ready. <laughs> From Preston, West Virginia. Here goes. Okay. Here we are. We're about halfway to the destination here. And uh, how do you think, Reed? What do you think so far? Well, halfway's better than no way. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good, yeah. Yeah, all right. So, uh... Scotty, what do you think? I'm back on the road again. Been a while. <laughs> I think well, Blacksburg was the last one? Yeah, our last road trip was Blacksburg. Or Sc was it Roanoke? Scotty's back in the house. All righty. <laughs> okay, well...
cords. All right. I believe we're here. Find a parking place. Yep, he's here. Road trip is over. We're back at Scotty's right now, and uh, we're just going to kind of just give you a little uh, view of uh, what we picked up today and maybe a few highlights of the trip. We've already dropped Reed back off at his place, um, but uh, yeah, here we are. And uh, first yeah. of all, Scotty, uh, we ended up just going to Noble Records today, and uh, we thought about maybe going to some other places down in Charlotte, but it was getting late and uh, we just decided to come on back home. You showed me cool shirts. Yeah, oh yeah, you can see my, my Noble Noble Records Buffalo shirt. Yep. So yeah, but uh, all right, Scotty, uh, show us a uh, few of what you got today. Well, are you, remember the song Werewolves of London? Yeah. Warren Zebon. Well, here's one of his live albums, Stand in the Fire. Cool. Can you, well, I don't, my no, you're, you're, you're doing okay. good, you're doing good. You, you just tell me when there is the next All right, one. now go show you what else you got next. Oh, I got a bunch. Show another one there. Here's some Steppenwolf, St Skullduggery. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Pretty cool. And look at them cool skulls. I like that, I like that cover on that's that. That skull on the back. Yeah. Cool, man. Okay. All right, show another one, and then I'll, I'll show, uh, show a couple of mine. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, that's one you got. I gave you that you one. You gave me this uh, Chicago. Yeah, because you're a big Chicago fan. Oh, yeah, I like my Chicago now. All right. Okay. All right, show one more. You got another one. One, one more. Than, uh, we'll yeah. get to see some of yours. 
Well, uh, here's some more Warren Zevon bad luck streak in a dancing school. Oh, that's yeah. That's a good one. I've heard a lot about cool. these albums on Pandora. But that, that's when you, I start writing down the songs you like. Yeah, that's one way to do it. All right, let me show you a few of the things I got there today. Okay. Uh, let me see. I got it. I got it. You sure? I got yeah. Sure? Right here, this is a, uh, this is a reissue of Tangerine Zoo. And this, this was still sealed in his shop. So, uh, man, I had to pick it up. I've been wanting to copy this one, too, for a while, man. Tangerine Zoo. And then, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting a copy of this, too, for a long time. I've, I've been wanting to order it on Amazon, and it's like sometimes it's there and sometimes it's sold out. But uh, he had a nice copy of... Uh, Jimi Hendrix, First Rays of the New Rising Sun on vinyl. Is that a color vinyl version? Or? No, I, this is just a uh, just standard vinyl it's got version. got a nice cover. And, uh, oh yeah, a couple of the uh, Vertigo albums here. This is Fairport Convention. This is uh, Tipler's Tales. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, take a peek at this. Here, hold that for a second, Scotty. Sure. Just I got you, bud. Hold it just right like that. Let me see here. This is uh yeah, this is on the uh the spaceship vertigo label. Yep. So that dropped it there. Do I have you? Do that? Oh yeah, you're good. You're good. And then there was another vertigo that I got. I've been wanting this one too for a long time. Trying to get it out open here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is a Jade Warriors first album. Really tickled to get that. This one's also on the uh, Spaceship Vertigo label. Yeah, man, I love this album. I, I love Tangerine Dream. And let me see. Well, I'll show one more. This is the Sunshine Company. A little bit of a Sunshine Pop Psych from the 60s. I've got like several Sunshine Company LPs, but I did not have this one. So, uh, real, real tickled. Is that a Blue there. Oyster Cult I see there? Yeah, well, I might as well since you just mentioned it. i never seen that I've album. been wanting to copy this one for a long time. This is my favorite Blue Oyster Cult album, Secret Treaties. This one's been a hard one to find. It's not like trash. It's the first time I've seen one. It's not copy. trashed or, or overpriced. And I this see. was a, really a decent price for a good copy. All right, Scotty, what's next? Let's see what, what else you got there. Hold on there. You got some more, too. All right, well, yeah, let's see... So what else you, you told got me to? about the Bob Seger when you favorite album? Yeah, you? this is a good one. He got a copy of the Bob Seger's. Uh, I guess that's his first album, the Bob Seger System. You named a song on it. Yeah, the Rambling Gambling Man. That's actually Ramblin', Ramblin', that's Ramblin'. actually like I think that was the actual name of the album was uh, Rambling Gambling Man, and I just love this album too. You mean it closer? Or no, that's good. That's perfect right there, Bob Seger System. Oh, That's a Seger. classic, man. A classic. Oh, All right, what else did you get there? You don't like Bob Seger. <clears throat> oh, I love it. got me another copy of... Uh, oh, yeah. That's a nice, nice clean copy of uh, Look, Look at, at Yourself. By, you're a big Uriah Heap fan, like I am, too. Oh, yeah. Like I recently now, I got all my uh, 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 Uriah Heap albums that I was wanting. So, Which I actually... Actually, I got... <laughs> Couple of those that I got, I got from Scotty. Well, that's but, what trading's for. That's what trading's for. He, you, and he you, went you, down. you can always go out and replace them. Yep, he went out and let's see what else did you get there. It's a mix album of. Uh, Dur oh, that's a picture Duran disc. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. That's uh, the Reflex. It's a picture disc. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. awesome, man. Well, the price was cool. Yeah. What else did you get there? You got Nine some more Stephen Wolf. Let's see what you got. Oh man. Uh, oh, Stephen Wolf the second. I love this. That's, I think this is actually my favorite Steppenwolf album. Well, that's a lot of reasons. I, I always ask him for advice because he knows his music, and I know <laughs> I'm getting something good. Yeah, and uh, and Dylan, man, Dylan was good to us today. He he was a uh, he was a uh, uh, very helpful and pleasant. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's all. Right. I got. It. I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, what I've been wanting for a long time. This is a uh, this is a a, a British. Uh, a British pressing of uh, Rubicon by Tangerine Dream. And I love Tangerine Dream. I had this album, an American copy of this album, 40 years ago and ended up trading it off. And I was really thrilled 
to find a, a nice, clean British pressing of, uh, of Rubicon. <clears throat> this is, man, I couldn't pass this up. This is Weapons of Prayer by the Leuven Brothers. Man, I love the Leuven Brothers. I, anything I can pick up by them, I try to get, but their stuff is really increasing in value. What type of music they play? This is, this is kind of gospel, bluegrass country, sort oh, okay. of, you know. Okay. And one more, I'll show you one more here before we go back to Scotty. Uh, Enoch Light presents Spaced Out. Wow. I love this album. I can't believe that I actually <clears throat> sold my original copy of it, and I was really happy to see this one in Dylan's store. I love this. I like Dane. It's got like the the free design. It's on there. It's got um, Dick Hyman playing Moog synthesizer. Uh, man, this is. I uh, think it's got Tony uh, Montoya playing guitar. This is a killer kind of a. 60s psychedelic exotica <laughs> great album i love this one. all right scotty what else did you get there some more you out heap yeah let's see what you got there i can't even pronounce the name of it abominog look Abominog. at that cover man i remember when that album came out it was like all of the uh the christian tv stations was saying about how how terrible that cover was! Like, it look is that a little demon. bit frightening, but that is a pretty frightening cover. But man, that's that's a killer album, though. It's kind of like you're right. Heap going through their, I guess their '80s well, metal. Well, I'll tell you what, metal. With the stuff they got out now. This is. <clears throat> oh, that's that's a classic, man. It's it's not near as bad as it used, they used to criticize. Oh no! no what's the, yeah, there's another uh, Uriah right, Heap magician's birthday. That's a great album too. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, all right, man. We we, we I think we we ended up getting more than I remembered buying today. Well, it's got Mississippi Queen on. What's that? Oh, that's Twin Peaks Mountain. Yeah, that's a, that's a great. That's a classic too, man. It's it's uh, kind of like a live greatest hits almost, isn't it? Uh -huh. All right, what else? Show another one there, and I'll show some more of mine. Benefits Jethro Tull. Yeah. Oh, that's a great album. I like that, man. That's a good price on that, too. Yeah. Man, yeah, I tell you what. Devin had some decent prices. I mean, he had he had some stuff that was, you know, collectible that was kind of a little pricey, but uh, all in all, man, he uh, most of the prices were very reasonable. Let me, see, let me show you a couple more I got here. This one was, this was kind of an upgrade for me. Love, this is one of my favorite Frank Zappa albums. And like I was telling Dylan, that, that I've got an, an OG copy of this, but uh, the actual vinyl of my copy is, uh, is messed up. It's got like bubbles in the vinyl so that certain parts of the record won't even play. It'll skip. And I'm actually afraid to play it because I'm afraid it's going to gonna, you know, mess up my stylus. But he had a nice, I think this is actually a reissue, it's not an OG, but uh, still stoked to get a good copy of this at a, at a decent price. You know, it, it really wasn't bad at all. I mean, you know, and I'll uh, see what, uh, uh, all right, this is the last thing I got at, uh, and I got this for my son. My son, I asked him before I left, he said, uh, uh, anything you want me to look for? And he said, yeah. I said, I'd like to find the copy of uh, General Giant's first album, which, you know, unfortunately, uh, Dylan had some General Giant, but he did not have the first album. And he also said, find me a copy of Black Sabbath Volume 4. So here, this is a reissue, but it's, it's, it's a clean copy of Volume 4. So I'll be giving this to my son. Uh, so yeah, that was what I got at Dylan's today, man. At, at Noble Records in Charlotte. No, well, actually, it's I think it's Matthews, but it's you know it's kind of like a uh, well, suburb the, of. What uh, about the Fog Hat? Uh, well, the Fog, yeah, I showed that Fog Hat was the one that Reed gave me. Reed gave. I showed you this earlier, but yeah, this is one that uh, Reed had. Uh, see, Reed doesn't. Reed went with us on the trip because he's an old friend, and we just wanted to get out with him and hang out a little while. Uh, he doesn't have a record player anymore, so this was the only record that he had, and he gave it to me today, and I thought that was great, man. It's, it's called Before Fog Hat Days, so that was that was cool. He this used was, to be a keyboard player. Yeah, yeah, Reed and I go back a long way. He was a he was a keyboard guitarist, 
bass player. That's a little lip thing. All right, let's see what else you got there. Well, I got three more items. All right, let me see. You got you Bill got Bud's these were years. these were from the dollar bin, weren't they? Yeah, but brings back memories. I think it's probably a spinning wheel. On it. I'm not sure. I'll find out. Oh yeah, that well, blood, sweat, and tears, man. That's oh, yeah, they're good, good stuff. Yeah, my favorite of blood, sweat, and tears is the very first album. I think it was called "Child Is the Father to the Man." Yeah, man, that that album, I dug that. But that album is good too. I think I got a copy of that. What album. was that also, one that had spinning wheel on it? I might even be this one. Let's see here. What are the songs? Well, they're in the back. Doesn't say. Oh, okay. Oh, this has got. Um, uh, I think you made me so very happy. You is made the beat from there. All right. Uh, and when I die, it's on there too. That's a good one. All right. Let's see what else you got. Well, the Bobby. reason I got this is one of my. I, <clears throat> what I had the twist, and then I had an old Disney record. Then I ended up. Uh, I ended up with a lot of forty five, but my first view was the Archies. Then, then. The, Oh, you're talking yeah. about, about your first records? Yeah. In other words, I started out maybe a dozen, and I ended up. I when, went to when Ohio. Did, when, I ended up a guy gave me three or four hundred up in Ohio. Okay. When did when did you first get your your first records? I'd say uh, I was less than ten years old. Okay. And so and this is one that you had, or, or yeah, had some... yeah, I was a forty-five. Of, uh, roses are red. Yeah. Uh, okay. Roses are red. Yeah. So the, he got that at the dollar bin there at Noble Records. Yeah, Bobby Benton. All right, now next one, this is the biggie he got. Oh, yeah, and I got, he was good to me. It's yeah. A, it, I think this is the book and a three-record set, about 30-some songs. Bob Dylan. Oh, 65, 66, the best of the cutting edge. Man, that's a killer box set. The Bootleg oh. Series. The Bootleg Series is, uh, man, that's some good stuff. They're going to be cranking some Bob Dylan tonight. Awesome. Awesome. Well, anyway, folks... Uh, just capping it all off, and uh, uh, we had a great time today. Uh, just reminiscing, talking, traveling. I think we ended up traveling almost 500 miles total, <laughs> but but it was uh, it was fun. Oh, we had so blessed. much fun that, that you know the, the the miles and the time just just flowed right smooth. So anyway, uh, see you guys. Man. Catch y'all later. Bye bye. Okay, 13 hours, 440.7 miles total. All right. Man, what a day this has been. <laughs> All right, here's my dog, Dolly. Hey, Dolly, that's always greets me. Hello, Dolly. That's my girl. That's my girl. She's glad to see me. She, where you been, Daddy? We've been on a trip. Yes, indeed. Glad to see my girl. All right, folks. <laughs> ah, tired. It's about ten o'clock at night. <coughs> Dolly's just found something out there. So anyway, I'm gonna go in, clean a few records, listen to some. <coughs> tunes and call it a day and thanks for watching <laughs> peace <laughs>